as you can see um, here. I'm going to do is a special episode specifically for the pie and just hanging out with my shungite sphere. Shungite is very important in our uh, technology world. This is going to help the carbon based beans uh, keeping your emotional energy in your field because this helps to eliminate the electromagnetic frequency waves. So the sh stone is called shungite, S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E. It's called shungite because that's where it was found in Russia. There's only one place it's located. So I'm doing a special one. This is um, this is called Why Pie is About You, Not Me. Going to keep it under around 10 minutes. And I just basically want to tell a story. That's how I'm starting this off, is I'm going to share a story to better illustrate my position about Pi, how I feel about Pi, how like the marketing of me trying to get what it is structurally in place so that everything's time back dated so that it's like a, a series already launched. And I just want to share an, ex, uh, an experience. So those of you who have been watching my platform for you know the last few months, there's a lot of people following my platform that don't haven't even signed up for Pi. And I have messaged them several times. They have said something back, and then I messaged them again. And then they're still following my story. So, like, the last two, three weeks, I've only been talking about Pi pretty much, like, a lot. And, you know, I kind of understand why there's still confusion. But I'm also kind of like, I guess people just like to work. I mean... Like, especially with my own family, like my brother. I have now eliminated my brother from even being part of my pie circle because it's been a month and all he does is give me excuses why he hasn't looked at it yet. I mean, it's just, you know, like with friends and my family, it's a little different. I have a lot of emotional energy tied up with my DNA. So how I'm dealing with him on that is a lot different than how I deal with like people I don't know and then people that I kind of know and then teammates and friends and then cousins and then brother and mom, and mom and dad and I have made my entire position on this public in the open for over a month so I just want to tell a story because I think it illustrates my character and it illustrates how it doesn't matter when you come into the network. It doesn't matter who you're with under the network. It really matters is how you're understanding what's going on in the world. And I just have my perspective that I'm sharing. I don't even think it's right, you know. My position is I'd rather have my mind open with wonder rather than closed by belief. The things that I know best is technology, so I just know tech. And, and my position on what I know can't be debated, like it can't be argued. Uh, you know, it's just the facts of like learning code, knowing what code is. It's just that there's a lot of confusion out there with the space. And so like we're automatically thrown into almost like a defensive mode if we feel confused. So I've gone through the trial and errors a lot to try and now have substantial conversation here as in regards to all my videos so like I think it was like four nights ago um, I've been like stuck at 25 people in my circle for over a week and a half now and you know like I like three four nights like four nights ago I'm just chilling on my group chat rooms and someone comes into a group chat pie room and a random person, but they had a picture, so, you know, it, it's immediately thought that they're human because they had at least a, a human picture. And they asked for an invitation code. Like, they were like, anyone have an invitation code? And I saw, like, a couple minutes after they messaged, and I saw someone on, someone had put their invitation code to them. So I was like, oh, maybe I won't. I won't put mine out there. Somebody already got to it. Like, it's just a group chat room, like, or whatever. But I was like, oh, what the heck? I'll put mine out there, too, see, and, and let them choose. 
So I put mine out there. That's all. I, all I did was put my, my tag name, I said, and I said, remember, truth is you. Like, I don't know the person's position on what they know yet. But asking for an invitation code, being in a group chat room, kind of seems a little odd. Like, she obviously didn't know what she was doing. I'm doing a special episode here for the gladiator that entered about why pie is about you, not me. Or why pie is about us, not me. So I'm telling a story. So this woman in the group chat room asked for an invite code. I put my, my tag name. I wait about 10 minutes. You know, and then I go back to the chat room. She's, the person had said, um, does it matter whose invitation code I use? And the person that put theirs goes, no, nah. And then I put, um, after that, actually, you know what? I didn't even put anything, I don't think. I didn't even say anything. And then about 15 minutes later went by, I checked, she hadn't signed up, the person hadn't signed up my name. So then I went and emailed the person like individually, because I gave them 15 minutes, I gave them a half hour to make a decision before I approached them individually. And then I basically told them, whoever's invitation code you do use, you gotta make sure that they KYC, because you won't get credit for the coins that you got under that person's name in regards to mining rates if you don't KYC like by the by the by like December November before it goes main main net so I just basically just told her a bunch of info about the network that she hadn't even known so it wasn't like I was encouraging her to use mine I was just saying I'm I'm guaranteeing I'm gonna I've already applied for to do the KYC because I'm and then she responds back <laughs> and says, I didn't know what to do, so she checked Google and got a, a, a tag name from someone that said they were already KYC, but she went to Google to ask Google, and I laughed at myself, because I was like, it's funny that we trust Google more than anything, really. That's one reason why my Google, like, you Google my name, I always watch that for, like, my whole life, and, like, I always, like, was trying to strengthen that my position on my Google Google name because I've had girlfriends that I've dated and then they'll Google me and then their whole perspective changes on stuff in the relationship and then they tell their friends and then it's just like they don't they didn't know I played hockey right until like I started dating them and then they Google my name and then they find out all this other stuff that I never talked about and it just like it changes the whole dynamic of what was happening. And it's like hockey just kept following me wherever I went. I couldn't do anything about it eventually. So, so then I went and I was individually chatting with this girl because I knew she was probably a rookie about with like in regards to what she knew about even cryptocurrency, even asking for an invitation code in a group chat room. And so she trusted Google, so she signed up under someone else's name. So we start chatting. I start giving her more info about how to check in, how to get other people into your circle. And then, like, within a couple minutes, she's like, oh, I wish I would have used your name. She was like, but I got impatient, she said, the person said. And I laughed because I was like, well, I kind of gave her her space to make the decision about it. Meanwhile, I'm coming after friends and family, and, like, they have no time. But a stranger comes in, asks for it. I have perfect opportunity to go in and get another person under my circle. But, you know, to me, all that matter that she's mining now. You know, because I, I would get, what, like, point one coin an hour extra like it's not a whole lot so it's not really about getting people to sign up because I get more no it's more about you actually are getting 10 times more than you were by not participating so what's the ratio there one like 0.1 to 10 it's not even like a factor me getting someone else under my name so then I was like oh don't worry like I was like shoulda woulda coulda like that's just the mental matrix I was like you're in the network that's all that matters we ended up chatting for literally like an hour and a half. Like, and she was asking about all these other coins and um, we, and she she's into acupuncture, this person. So like, we, there was like a huge connection under the surface that we were able to make. And then like, you know, just like the other day, they reached back out to me asking me questions about Pi. And it's not like, oh, because they're not in my circle, I'm not gonna help them. It's like really about creating an infrastructure now. If you have Pi coins, now we create a little safe abode within that network 
and the, the, the code itself of that net, that bubble within the Pi network is so strong that it like encourages people to come into it because it's a fun place to hang out. And you also can do stuff with your coins and stuff. So like I was talking to this person for literally like an hour and a half. And like that was like rich in value for me, you know. And the fact that she was like, oh, I got impatient. And she didn't like go and ask the person more questions that gave them her tag, our tag names. And some, some people don't really know how to like work the back, the, the chat rooms. Like it's not, it's kind of like a, the more experienced know how to navigate through the, the messages. And, um, but I wanted to do that. I wanted to give the person the patience to make the decision. Cause I, I'm all right, I just like holding the space. For someone to find their free will themselves it's not really about me pushing my opinion because remember i'm not fixed any any viewpoint i just know a lot about what i know a lot about and the more people we get congregating to communicate what we know a lot about we can maybe cross reference and start putting a bigger bigger what we know about because the compartmentalization is part of like the trauma aspects of the mental game the heart is connected to the grand portal so like I feel like I made a really strong human connection there with some random person that I don't know, which now is gonna last forever because they're into it. They're into blockchain. They're into learning about it. So it's not like I have to sell anything because I'm knowledgeable about the space. It's almost uh, kind of like weird sometimes to get actually explained it in such simple terms, some of these technology and like I, 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 I bend over backwards for my own family and for some of my close, who I thought were close friends, teammates, AK. And you know, it's like, it's like I'm invisible or something. I understand the invisible thing because when you become really integrated with your own plasma energy, you almost do disappear to the world. Like people don't recognize you out, you know, like, like they're looking past you because they don't see like you're there because of the energy field. It's not like a, like a borderline thing. So I t I've tested this out everywhere I go and it's hilarious. But when I do make purpose to show up in someone's life, like it throws them off of that mental looping to where that memory now, they may go to sleep in a month or three months from now and they'll wake up and then they'll just remember the memory when they wake up like that. And then they'll go check the internet and go check into like Pi again. So like, there's a huge rollout to my strategy that I'll be beginning on the ground with, on the feet ground stuff. And I'm also gonna be putting it on display, like recording myself. So that was just a short film I wanted, to, or a short story I wanted to share that happened this past five days in some of my quiet time when everyone's sleeping. And I really connected with, I felt like a really strong, and I immediately gave them my name because I'm starting to give my name now random people online and so she went to my Instagram saw my post and and like said my name back to me and said this is you and I'm like yeah so like it immediately creates like a bond that oh you're not talking to just some invisible person anymore and this is why I've laid like a five month structure to lay all these videos out that are kind of over the top but it, it puts my position in a strong place because it's going to be more relevant as time goes. And I really appreciate that person like going into like the back network of a chat room with her face as her profile because that helped me like reach them because when I see a face, it's almost like I know everything about the person. Like I have this weird intelligence where once I see a face, I have like so much info and it's like an intuitive like reading on their face so like remember i'm the human eye we are the human eye you know the insects the, the ai they don't have a heart so i can adapt much quicker faster and actually think long term in regards to what i am doing like this carrying it like an ant right like doing a lot of uh, subconscious work so that was a story i wanted to share that i thought really gave myself a pat on the back because I didn't, I didn't jump the gun like with like, cause I didn't want to get in that other person gave out their invitation code first. I didn't want to just like Trump, Trump that person's invitation code 
because it was a group chat. So there's kind of like a a community respect within the chat rooms that is kind of like how a bar scene would be and stuff like that. But now we don't have any more bar scenes. So, well, in Florida we do. But mostly everywhere else there's not, you know, especially up in Canada. And, you know, I'm very energetically connected to the Canadians. So it was like really, there was like another time, another uh, example of how I'm actually starting to get real emotional responses from the tech now, which is partly why I started to be over the top with the emotions because it's going to get someone to go, oh, that wasn't like normal ones. And so this has been a great healing for me because now I have that person to chat with and they're an acupuncturist. They're, they're into the alternative like even human, like Reiki is like all acupuncture kind of. We'll finish off with some breathing. We'll just do a nice big uh, circle. So we'll inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Two rounds, ready? Big inhale, big exhale, inhale, hold. Exhale, hold, one more round. Just relax the breath. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your heartbeat.